But when I say one, one I go. Hold, hold, hold. Two, three. Yeah. Okay. I indemnify every single person here. If anything goes wrong, it's all me that's doing this. Nobody is responsible but myself. I did the bullet catch three times so far in my life. In 2009, I had my best friend, who's a magician, Bill Kalouche, come with me to Florida to shoot the bullet into the little cup in my mouth. I was excited, but it was Carl Skeen's original concept. The idea that I came up with to make it different than every other bullet catch and also to take the responsibility away from the person firing the gun, I took a, a, a string and attached it to the trigger on a pulley so I would shoot the gun at myself. And then the only part that I had to figure out was when pulling the string, I just needed to be perfectly still and obviously very relaxed. To prepare for that, I had a friend shoot the gun at me 38s and all different caliber handguns. Miguel Caballero flew in from Colombia. He creates bulletproof clothing that's very thin, which will stop the impact of the bullet, but we took the impact plate out. So this will strictly stop the bullet from piercing, but I'm gonna feel exactly what it feels like. The reason I wanna feel what it feels like here is because in order to catch a bullet, I need to get comfortable with this first because this is much easier than here. Even when I get hit with the 22 into a cup in my mouth, it knocks me out and I black out for a second. So a 38 is significantly bigger and stronger, obviously, than a 22. So he's gonna shoot me right here. This is the least dangerous place to take the bullet because the least vital organs are in this area. So this is where he does it. He's never shot anybody before without a trauma plate in. So this is the first time in 25 years that he's doing this. When I do certain stunts, I think I go into a different mindset. I'm not worried about what's gonna happen anymore. And I learned that when I was training this stunt guy, Bobby Brown, he said, you commit to something. As soon as you say that you're gonna go, you have to go on that mark. That changes your mindset. When I get out there and when I'm ready to go, I'm gonna pull and there's no second guessing. One. Two, three. It's almost like a very mechanical approach to something. And it relates to card, card magic, because when you're learning certain things, it's like a mechanical approach. Repetition, 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 until it just becomes second nature. It's almost like a very clear focus you do it exactly as you decided to do it and as you practiced. The reason I was curious about all this is because I wanted to do a trick. Uh. So, no, but so in order to figure out if I have the confidence to do it, I needed to get shot here a bunch of times so I, so I understand, yeah. oh, it's possible. I committed to doing it live at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas for 20,000 people. The part that I didn't really spend enough attention on was building a better mouth guard. This is a cup that I built, a steel cup, which has a little tape on it because I put a bullseye in the front of it when I catch the bullet. This was the guard that I used in the rehearsal, which broke. So this is supposed to sit here, and this goes in your mouth, and then this should stop it. But the impact when it shot back broke this part that was connected together. And the cup, luckily, didn't go into my throat the first time. When it broke, the cup bounced out onto the floor with the bullet fragments in it. So now I had no cup and I was committed to doing it. The next night, I had a dentist fly in that's also a bit of a magician. And he tried to basically epoxy the back of another mouth guard together that would stop the force of the bullet when it hit the cup. And that completely went wrong. 